You can't manage what you don't measure. That's why companies must complete a full greenhouse gas inventory to set a science-based target. The Greenhouse Gas Protocol provides helpful tools and resources to support companies through this process. Company emissions can be categorized into three scopes, one, two, and three. Let's explain these scopes and how they are used to set science-based targets. Scope one emissions, sometimes called direct emissions, are the greenhouse gases emitted by something that is owned or controlled by a business. For example, a delivery company owns and operates a fleet of trucks would can count the emissions from fuel combustions for each vehicle in its scope one emissions. Scope one emissions also include fugitive and process emission sources. For example, a grocery chain that uses refrigerants to keep food cold may have emissions associated with the leakage of refrigerants. Or a semiconductor manufacturer may have process emissions from the chemicals used in wafer fabrication. Scope 2 emissions are those associated with purchased energy, including electricity, steam, heat, and cooling. A retailer, for example, might purchase electricity to power its stores. Or a consulting firm might purchase electricity in order to run air conditioning and elevators. The emissions that result from the amount of electricity purchased by each company would fall into Scope 2 emissions. Because Scope 2 emissions are not directly released by the reporting company, they are considered indirect emissions. Scope 3 emissions are all the other indirect emissions not included in the Scope 2 that occur in the value chain of the reporting company, from its suppliers, clients, or customers. For example, a pharmaceutical company that purchases chemicals from a different business would consider the emissions from the production of the chemicals as part of its Scope 3 emissions. And the emission from a car when it's out on the road count as the automobile manufacturer's Scope 3 emissions. According to the Greenhouse Gas Protocol, there are 15 different subcategories of Scope 3 emissions, ranging from purchased goods and services to business travel to use of sold products and financed emissions. Be sure to visit our website to learn more about the Greenhouse Gas Protocol's resources and how they are used to set science-based targets.